everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of Ark Survival Evolved. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. I am doing absolutely fantastic, guys. So, thank you so much for all of the support once again throughout this series, my friends. We have been absolutely obliterating our like goal lately, my friends. Hitting 2,000 likes in some episodes and just... Just in general, you guys are awesome. Like, what else could I say, huh? <laughs> guys, if we can keep it up with a thousand likes per episode, that'll be absolutely fantastic. Now, today, we are breeding. That is right. As you can see, I now have an identical base level uh, male baryonic. So these two both have a base level of 214, which means they are like the perfect breeding pair. Now, what I've gone ahead and done is I've actually written down in a notepad document their base stats and try to figure out what the best stats for them combined would be. So, best combined stats, okay? So, we're looking for 3,345 health, 1,040 stamina, as per this guy here, and then we're going for weight here, which is 559, as evident on the uh, female here, and then 677% melee damage, which is on this guy, uh, which, yes, he has been ranked up a little bit, but I worked it out, and it is 677. So, guys, I've actually cranked up how fast these guys lay eggs because I kind of figured, you know what, if we're going to try and get ourselves some super dinos, then I want to be able to get this stuff done, you know, pretty, pretty quick sharp for you. So guys, welcome to my little sort of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? My reimagined breedery. So below here, we've got our heat source and obviously the dinos can't go in there. This is the little hatching platform. So we go in here, we do this. And as you can see, the incubation takes place. And again, it doesn't take very long because, again, I've cranked up the incubation period. So, what do we got here? Why is there two? What? How does that... Oh. Those guys could just go through. That's weird. All right, what have you got? Okay, so not very good health. The uh, melee damage is there, the weight is there, but there's not really anything too much interesting going on. So, as a result, we are going to go ahead and kill this guy. And assuming the other guy has the same stats, we'll probably wind up killing this guy as well. But yeah, it's weird that they get level 221. I do find that very, very strange. But at the same time, very, very awesome. So, base 214 levels. Okay, so let's go back to our little hatchery here. And let's see what we can do. All right, baby. So, drop the egg. Drop it like it's hot. Oh, wait. There was another one. Ah, oh, cool. Okay. I forgot about that. <laughs> All right. So, if these ones don't wind up being good, then we'll find out. Okay. 208. That is awful. That is awful. Why are you so low? 3345, 1040. Ah, okay. So the weight and the melee damage, unfortunately, are the bad ones this time. So what that means is this guy is gonna go bye byes. Okay, right. So let's do the next one here. It's like it's like freaking Pokemon, isn't it? You just you just I don't know. You're waiting around and seeing what you get, I guess. All right, here we go. Another one. Level 225. That is very, very high. Okay, do you have anything? No, you've got less health, less stamina, and less melee damage. So actually, you're not that good. I apologize there, buddy, but you're not that good. But anyways, guys, yeah, I've been going ahead and doing this for a while, you know, before this uh, episode began. And guys, check this out. We have ourselves a level 229 male baryonyx. So I've just called it M for male, and then 229, of course, as the base level. And it came from these guys. Like, how does that happen? It's 15 levels above the base level for these two. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, uh, yeah. So, like I say, my friends, we're doing this as a bit of a test run. Because eventually, I want to do this with some uh, high-level tech rexes. To try and get ourselves some super rexes, essentially. So, level one, 180 tech rex will give us a level 270. So, if we get two of those, then we are going to be in business. All right, so just a few seconds to wait here, and then we see what we get. If we get a female 229, then I'm going to be super happy, or even higher. There we go. So we got a 223. Oh, wait, there's two 223s. Ah, crap. Ah, oh, okay. I need to put actual walls down here, don't I? This is less than ideal. Hey there, buddy. All right, so let's have a look. What do you got? So you've got the health. You've got the stamina. Wait, this guy's a perfect one. It's got everything. Oh. Oh, man, I want to keep you around, buddy. All right, what are you? Uh, do you have the same stats or different stats? 
No, you're a perfect one as well, and it's a male. Holy crap. Guys, we've got a perfect breeding pair here. Like, literally. They're the exact same stats. So the stats we're looking for are health, stamina, melee, and weight. Those are the only four I'm focusing on. And yeah, 3,345, 1,040, uh, 559 weight, and 677% melee damage. These guys are literally perfect. And they are a perfect pair. All right, let's disable wandering. Hey there, buddy. Uh, behavior, disable wandering. Right, now I need to try and get these guys, like, inside. So I'm going to have to demolish this. Uh, let's increase that gamma real quick. And yeah, these guys are, like, perfect. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I thought it was, like, a duplication bug where it would always be the same gender. But uh, apparently not. Apparently not, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently not. Okay, so yeah, you folks need to come over here. There we go. And then, yep, let's just have you stop. Wait, where are you going, buddy? Wait, what's he doing? Behavior, attack your target. No, go passive. Buddy, what are you doing there? I don't understand. You're not supposed to... Oh, dang it. You're not supposed to be wandering. Okay, so one, two, three, four. There you go. Enjoy. And then one, two, three, four. There you go. Enjoy. And that should help. In fact, I might just force feed these guys. There we go. It's probably a much better way of doing this, let's be honest. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I still can't believe we got ourselves a perfect breeding pair. <laughs> like, out of one egg. That's so weird. Why am I getting two dinos out of one egg? That is so weird to me. I don't understand. Is that a bug? Oh, yeah, we got ourselves a level up as well. Oh, two levels up. Is it because I'm killing the Baryonyxes? Is that what giving me the level up? I don't know. All right, fortitude, and let's go for maybe a little bit more health, actually. Uh-huh. Okay, so level 95 electric prod minigun turret. Where do you get the when do you get the shocking tranquilizer darts? Oh, it's level 96. Okay, next one. Cool. All right. I am definitely down with that. Right, how's this looking? Oh wow, okay, your maturation is actually pretty slow. Uh-huh. Alrighty, might as well see what we get from this egg. There is always a chance, of course, a rare chance at that, of getting a mutation, which will give you a little bit buffed of a stat. Wait, there's two again? What? Why? Why does that keep happening? I'm so confused. All right, imprint and... Oh, hang on. And, uh, imprint. There you go. Right. Uh, quickly disable wandering. Oh, man. I need to see if I can, like, assign a, uh, a key to that. Right. So these two are now following. Let's see what kind of stats they've got. Okay. So bad health. Stamina's up to scratch. Weight is not very good. Uh, yeah. Okay. So these two need to go. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh my god, they look like conjoined twins. I mean, technically they are twins, aren't they? Because <laughs> they, were, they were born at the same time. They came out of an egg at the same freaking time. <laughs> oh, 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 it looks so weird though. What the hell? Can you imagine if there was like triplets or octuplets? All right, well, 96%. We're nearly there. I've already enabled mating. So when it comes down to it, uh, these fellas or th these guys should just wind up breeding up straight away. Okay, so 98.8, 99. Okay, any second now we should see the heart symbol above these two and they should start going at it. There we go. Yeah, wait. Already? Wow. That is, uh, that was quick. <laughs> oh, what the hell, dude? That was so quick. All right, so level 223 base level. Let's see what we get this time, okay? I'm kind of, I'm interested. I'm honestly interested to see what we get. Is it going to be two again? No, it's level two, two, three. Okay. Okay. All right. What do we got here? So, yeah, the stats are all there. No mutations. Okay, right. This guy is going to die, in which case, I'm sorry, buddy. I feel like such a jerk doing this. All right. Be gone there, wooden railings. Right. I'm hoping that they won't be able to just roam out of here. I don't know. I mean, the window is big enough for them to probably just walk out. I don't know. I don't want this thing to just be a big block, you know? I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just being OCD about it. All right, uh, how are we going here? Okay, so the female is on this side, so mating 63%. Okay, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. So in terms of this level 229, I'm pretty sure it's lacking in one of the stats. Uh, okay, so the health is there. Stamina is not there. So, I'm actually kind of tempted to kill this guy, because I don't think we need him. And then, uh, Brian and Bryony, as much as you were the first, and same with these two, like, I just don't need them. I'm going to wind up having a freaking overload of Baryonyxes if I'm not freaking careful, you know what I'm saying? What you got for me this time, broski? Uh, level 223. Okay, so it's always 223. 
Unless it isn't. Uh-huh. Okay, so again, yeah, that's all cool, but you're not a mutation, as far as I can tell. So, I don't think we need to worry too much about it. Goodbye, Vesta. Alright, guys. So, I realised I didn't actually do the comment of the day in the last episode. So, let's go and jump into that. From episode 14, Casual Person 409 says, I'm playing on your settings, Python. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really, really glad that you're enjoying it, buddy. Because, uh, yeah, I've really tried to refine the settings that I play on. So, A, it's not overpowered. But, B, at the same time, you get a good amount of progression in single player. Okay? Now, I understand that, you know, in multiplayer on the official servers everything's you know default settings and occasionally they have these events going on but uh, yeah you know you can raid other people you can get you know tribe xp buffs and all that kind of stuff but on single player you just don't get that so i've tried to do my best to uh, balance it between not being overpowered and then also still providing a good amount of progression at a good rate. So yeah, I really appreciate that comment. Thank you so much. And for those of you guys who are interested in the things that I changed to get these eggs to hatch real quick. For these guys to, you know, breed up and, uh, you know, give birth to eggs real quick. Uh, go ahead and check out the description. I will do my best to put the things down there. Okay, so once again, the same stats. I mean, at this point, we're just looking... For someone who's got, like, two additional levels. Because I'm pretty sure that's how it works, right? Alright, guys. I'll tell you what. In between going ahead and waiting for these uh, eggs to hatch. I think it might be a, a good idea, perhaps, to go ahead and see if we can't get ourselves a bunch of loot beams. Maybe have a bit of a loot beam mania episode at some point. Like, I think it'd be kind of cool. Like, we just spend an entire episode just going to all of the loot beams. Like, maybe blue standard and up, because I feel like that's when the Ascendant stuff really starts to come into play. And then we could just have a super clickbait title. Like, I went to 100 arc loot beams. This is what I got. Like, <laughs> I think it'd be a cool idea. What do you guys think? I'm definitely down to give it a go, you know. We're going to get ourselves a whole bunch of loot at the very least. I mean, obviously, there's a whole bunch of stuff that I want to get that's Ascendant. Obviously, an Ascendant Rex Saddle Blueprint. That would be, like, absolute MVP, wouldn't it? And then maybe some Ascendant Baryonic Saddles as well. Oh, okay. The little baby Baryonyxes, they can still get out. Okay, so level 223. I'm going to immediately assume... That it's not going to be that great. So, yeah. We need level 2, 2, 5 and upwards if we're going to do this thing, okay? So, yeah. Here we go, my friends. Going for blue. What have we got here? Ascendant Stego Saddle Blueprint. Nice. Hey, that's pretty good. That is really pretty darn good. I don't mind that at all, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That is absolutely fantastic. There is actually another blue loot beam over there, but by the time I get back, there will probably be another egg on the go. I mean, I'll, I'll test that theory out, of course. But uh, yeah, we almost always get ourselves a, an arc loot beam over there. And then there's almost always one over where that blue one is as well. Which uh, resides in that lake area. The little mouth of the ocean, if you will. Uh, so yeah, let's just get back over here. Let's see how it's going. Do these guys even still keep going while I'm away? Oh gosh, I can't... Ugh, that's weird. Alright, how far are you along? Okay, so you're nearly there anyway. Okay, cool. Yeah, in which case, that's the system. Egg loot, egg loot, egg loot, egg loot. I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. Alright, come on, baby. Poop that thing out. There we go. 225, baby, that's what we want. It's like gambling, this, isn't it? <laughs> it's so dumb. Alright, so let's uh, do this thing. I'm pretty glad I got an Ascendant uh, Stego Saddle Blueprint. It means we can make infinite amounts of it. If we can get a Rex and a Baryonyx one, that'd be fantastic. Okay, 223 again. Not that... Oh, for God's sake. Alrighty, loot time. What are we going to get this time? What is this? Uh, Ascendant Gilly Chess Piece. Hey, don't mind if I do. That is very nice. Oh, God damn it. Oh, go. There we go. <laughs> Stupid Tyrannodon, what do you think you're doing, huh? You're trying to kill me? Oh, the only thing is, I've already got an Ascendant Gilly chess piece. And in fact, this is an insanely high spec one compared to this. Wow, that's like more than double the armor value. That is absolutely insane. Can you imagine if we had a full set of Gilly armor of this standard? Like, oh, that'd be incredible, wouldn't it? Imagine the armor rating. We'd be basically invincible. <laughs> Come on, 225. 225, baby, 225. Uh, two times 223. Two, uh, okay. 
Alrighty, loot time. This one was the closest. So what have we got? Hide armor. Okay, well, if we ever apocalyptically die and, you know, can't get some good stuff back, then I guess that's good. But let's be honest, we, we, we're pretty far along now. <laughs> Well, guys, a solid wood wall it has to be. Huh? If we want to contain these guys, then this is how we have to do it, man. Ah, oh, goodness me. All right, come on, then. Two to five, baby. Two to five, two to five, two to five. Come on, man. Come on, you can do this. You can do it. Two to five. Oh, it is. Holy crap. Okay, right. So that's got to be mutated, right? It's got to have some sort of buffed stat. Uh, wait, I think it is. Wait, what? Oh, there it is. There's the mutation. It's on this side. Ah, cool. Nice. Hey, guys, check it out. We've got ourselves a, uh, a mutation here. Nice. I'm definitely down with that. So the mutation is its weight stat, which is uh, interesting to say the very least. But uh, obviously, it'd be nice to get ourselves melee or health. I think melee would be the one I'd want to go for. But there we go, my friends. My first ever mutated dino. That is amazing. So this guy should go ahead and breed up with this gal here, right? With 223. And then hopefully we should be able to start getting even higher rank dudes. Oh, okay. He can still get out then. That's good. I like it. I like it. Buddy, where are you going? You need to come over this way. Thank you very much. All right. Let's get you uh, let's get you grown up and then you can start breeding up with uh, with your folks here. Which is very, very wrong to say, let's be honest here, guys. But uh, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? Alright, guys, should we do a bit of a speed round? Should we do three at the same time? Oh, God, this is... <laughs> it's gonna be nuts! Okay, here we go. What are we gonna get? How many 225s out of this? Oh, goodness me. 223, 223, 223. Ah, level 223. Darn it! I apologize, this says. But you all need to go. Alright, well, here we go, my friends. Mutant male... Wait, that's what uh, all of that stands for. So, Mutt MW225. So, let's go ahead and... Uh, okay, so your mating is already enabled. So, let's get... Uh, what's her name? Where is she? Where is she? She doesn't even have a name, does she? All right, well, how far are you along with your current egg? Uh, okay, nearly there. I'll let you give birth to this egg. But then after that, you're going to go to a different person, okay? Yeah, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so, uh, yeah, now the 225 and the 223 should wind up mating. Can I just say, this guy looks awesome. He's like sort of charcoal gray and red. I love it. That's a really nice color. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, just how far do we want to go with this, though? Like, what is the absolute maximum level we can go for? I've got absolutely no idea, but we just need to rinse and repeat this process until we get up to a point where we feel like, oh, hey, this is a really good dino. I feel like it can take on the entire freaking world now. So, yeah, I'm like I say, though, I'm glad I'm practicing with Baryonyxes because I'm sort of perfecting my method, shall we say. Okay, guys, the very first egg from these two. So, yeah, level 223 and 225. Let's see what happens. Will we get a 224 or will we get ourselves a higher one? I honestly don't have any idea. All right, well, here we go. It's going to have at least one mutated stat guaranteed because of the uh, the male, the uh, parent there. Okay, so what do we got? It's level 223 again. Okay. What you got for me? Two compass blueprints? Why in the name of all that is holy... Would you get two of the same blueprint? What is the point? <laughs> Not unless, I mean, uh, I guess you could go ahead and give it to your tribe members if you're playing on servers, but on single player, it's just like, like, what the hell? What's the point? <laughs> Well, it doesn't seem like there's any decent loot beams around, so I was thinking maybe what we could do instead is go to the southeastern cave, don't get the artifact, so we're not near the freaking lava, and then go ahead and grab ourselves some resources from there instead. Maybe there's some uh, loot crates down there? What the hell is that? What is that? Megalania? Level 140? Oh no, the game crashed, you son of a gun! Alrighty guys, I found the area where the obsidian is. It's just over these jumps. Um, okay. Right, what might be a good idea is if I somehow like lure all these guys out. There we go. Well, that should make all of them come along. Uh-huh. And then... We go to town! Go on, Onyx, get freaking wrecked, you bunch of butts! Yeah, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it! 
Eat it, sucker! I will ruin all of you. Level 145? Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Oh, you got a whole bunch of wet in you now. Gosh, freaking darn it. Yeah, baby. So there's rich metal over here as well. That's pretty cool. But yeah, this is the stuff we're after. What? You son of a gun. Get out of here. Where the heck was he? I don't even know where that guy was. All right, well, here we go. There's the obsidian. Uh, how heavy is it? Uh, 97 is 97. Okay, okay. So we're not going to be able to carry that much back. But we'll be able to carry maybe a couple hundred units and then we'll be good. Huh. So interestingly, the artifact pedestal literally only requires obsidian. All right. Well, I'll be honest. I've never actually crafted these things before. So I don't really know how they work just yet. But I wanted to go ahead and maybe decorate my house just a little bit. You know, we've got to show off some of the epic stuff that we've managed to get so far in the series, right? Question is... Where do we put these things? How big are they? Okay, they're not that big. I can maybe put one there. And then maybe one up here. I'm kind of down with that. You know, got to have something to display up here. Maybe we put it next to our bed. There we go. Okay, so can we go ahead and place one of these things on it? So let's have a Carno arm and an Alpha Raptor. Uh-huh. So let's do this. Okay, can we, can we do that? Trophy. Apply a trophy to this. I mean, I'm trying. Can you not? Oh, man. Oh, I mean, it's clearly a trophy. Uh, I bet it's for the artifacts. Let's be honest here, guys. It's probably for the artifacts, isn't it? Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Okay, does it, like, drain its durability or anything? Okay, so we could put it in there. Like, ah, oh, I'm so sad. Can we not take it out? Okay, we can take it out. Ah, oh, I really wish I could go ahead and put these things in there. Welcome to my reimagined, once again, little hatchery. So I've got Marlon on here now because, you know, it was getting kind of tedious having to repair this structure every single time I went ahead and killed someone in here. So hopefully uh, this guy will just go ahead and take him out of the game if needs be. So level 223, don't need it, get wrecked. Okay, and then you can just take him out of the game and then we can get another one on the go. So like I say, two, two, wait, 227, sorry, is what we're looking for, not 224. Why was I saying 2244? Oh, you're dead, sir. All right. Journeyman Gilly Gauntlets. A another upgraded bit of gear for our armor here. So, yeah, where's our gauntlets? There we go. 103. That's like, what? Over triple the stats? <laughs> Armor rating now is 559. Good sweet lord. That is very, very good. So I'll be honest with you guys. I've just been sort of grinding this whole process out for a while now. And to be honest, guys, I'm probably going to wind up doing an absolute ton of this stuff uh, between episodes because I really want to see just what kind of uh, stat mutations I can get going uh, with the Baryonyx here. So I'll tell you what, we'll do one final egg to finish off today's episode, okay? Because, you know, I feel like I've shown you how to go ahead and get mutations and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I feel like we are just about ready. So, oh, there we go. There's the final egg. Come on, baby. Level 227 is what we are looking for. Okay, so close the door and drop it like it's hot. Uh, well, I mean, it is hot. It's hot underneath, isn't it? Because it's fire. <laughs> all right, 227. Come on, baby. You know you want to. You know you want to. Ah, oh, it's a 225. Darn it. And you're dead. Sorry, broski. Had to do it to you. <laughs> oh, man. Well, like I say, we're just going to have to wait for eggs, man. Just literally waiting for eggs. That's all we got to do. So, yeah, guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. An entire episode where we've pretty much stuck around our base. That doesn't happen very often, is, does it, guys? So, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode or learned something new, do be sure, of course, to drop a like rating. I'd very much appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on future content. But actually, hang on a minute. Is that red or is that purple? I can't tell if that's red or purple. It looks red. Oh, no, it's purple. Darn it, man. I thought it was red. All right. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day as always. And I will see you guys in the next episode.